The security agencies AIT met with in Benue State, however, say much has been done to address the deadly attacks. Colonel Mohamed Inua is the commanding officer of the Nigerian Army 72 Special Forces Battalion in Makudi, and his unit is involved in the operation against the rampaging headsmen and other criminals. We have been able to deploy in most of the hot spots where the clashes are always recurrent and uh, where you normally have uh, a lot of crossings from other states by the headsmen into the state. We have a forward operational bases where we have our troops that are there 24 hours. The 72 Battalion conducts regular patrols along hot spots to monitor activities of headsmen and prevent infractions. The IT crew joined the team on one of their patrols around the vulnerable communities. Routine patrols such as this one from the 72 Special Forces Battalion in Makudi helps restore confidence to residents of hotspots and keeps headsmen and their cattle in check. In one community, many buildings, including a school, did not survive the urge of violence. But several children are now playing outside without hindrance. Some of the residents say they were encouraged to return when military presence increased in the area. You can now see these children playing here. Before, you cannot see anybody here. Without them, I think uh, nobody would have even come back to this place. Kone Inua says so far, several attacks have been prevented with weapons recovered from headsmen who came on attack missions. We've had uh, instances that we had uh, when during the clashes, some of the headsmen that we are able to arrest and hand over to the police. Most of them, we got them with uh, weapons. Also, some of the militias and other criminals that we have arrested, we got uh, these weapons. Benue State Police Commissioner says the police have embarked on multiple efforts to end the crisis, including the conduct of regular dialogues and awareness sessions among stakeholders. Now that it has turned to violence, you, you, you try to be proactive. And that means you have to, from time to time, create situation of dialogue. You bring them in, put them on the table, talk to them, identify some of those areas where they are feeling bad, and then address it. But the lawmakers in the Benue State House of Assembly are pushing a different agenda. Benjamin Adanyi is the House Majority Leader. He says the anti-open grazing bill is the only means of halting the deadly attacks. The essence of that bill is to ensure that ranches are established so that the farmers they can have their farmlands and Fulani herdsmen can acquire for themselves parcels of land and then construct ranches where these animals will be kept. Adanyi says no matter the good intentions of the security, having cattle grazing openly will still result in conflict and violence. Fulani herdsmen or persons who want to rear cattle are kept in a designated place and these cattle are warehoused in a ranch. It is easier for you to manage that than to begin to go after persons who come in the night and then you are given directives to apprehend them. For security agencies like the army, all they can do now is to prevent the escalation of bloody conflict. The communities hope they will be able to prevent more deadly attacks when policymakers unfold new laws and initiatives as a lasting resolution to their predicament. Mgusu Uji, AIT News, Makudi.